another terror. Hey everybody, this is author Jeff Bowles coming at you with another modern classics. Whew. Okay, so in this edition we will be checking out the very, very, very recent modern classic question mark, uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, this just came out back in August of this past year, 2016, so it's very new, it's very fresh. I thought it was a bit too old to do like just a standard video review, so we're going to check out and see if it's a modern classic. Um, now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Deus Ex franchise, uh, but it's got uh, fans. Sure. <laughs> no, no, it actually... <laughs> It actually does have fans. Uh, uh, I'm just making that up. Um, so this is kind of a stealth action game, first-person shooter. And what's what's remarkable about this series is number one, the variation between um, you know decisions that you make, uh, dialogue trees uh, that you can uh, you know uh, participate in, uh, sense things out. Um, the stealth is very very good. Uh, stealth, if you're into that sort of thing, which I'm kind of not. I don't really like stealth a whole lot. The combat is better in this one than it was in the last one um, because they have implemented a new point-to-point -point cover system, uh, which actually allows you to call out your shots as far as, okay, I want to move here, and you hold down A, because we're checking it out on the Xbox One. I want to move here, and then I want to move here, and I want to stealth kill this guy and or, or just or, I want to knock him out and uh, take no consequences as far as killing him. Of course, there are no consequences for killing or not killing, so it kind of really doesn't matter what you choose, but, you know, there you go. Um, the point-to-point -point cover system is fantastic. The combat is pretty good, the shooting is pretty good, but again, in my experience with this game, if you're shooting, you messed up, because you were supposed to have tried to stealth the shit out. Um, so, here we're looking at one of the levels, and it is a very, very, very pretty, pretty video game, especially since it's in HD, um, although that doesn't mean much anymore, because we got the 4K systems out now, but, um, poor me, I don't have a 4K television, no. Um, the thing about the levels, though, and it's kind of a carryover from the last Deus Ex game, and actually all the Deus Ex games, they're, they're... They're small. The levels are small. And I was really, really hoping when I heard this announced by ADOS um, that we'd get something of an open world Deus Ex experience. And we really, really don't. It's tight, it's confined, and it's tricky for me to recommend it on that level because I wanted it to be such a graphical and cinematic and technical leap forward, but in truth, it's still kind of confined and tight and tiny. It's still, it's, it feels like a really, really, really amazing looking 360 game, which it would never be on 360, by the way. But it looks, it looks good, but it's small. So I don't know how to feel about it on that point. The other thing I kind of don't like about it is the hacking. Oh boy, the hacking. You will be hacking everything from safes to doors to computer systems and you will be doing it frequently a lot and it's only one type of hacking game and it is a game and you know it doesn't necessarily bear any actual resemblance to what hacking would be like in the real world but that's okay we can accept that it's a video game but it's it's annoying it's the same thing again and again and again and again and you do it so much that gosh I just oh god I have nightmares about hacking, or I will after I'm done playing this game. So, all in all, is Deus Ex Mankind Divided a modern classic? Drum roll, please. That was lame. Why did I say it like that? Drum roll, please. That's me pounding on my chest. I'm pounding on my chest. I'm pounding on my chest. Now, mm -mm. it's not a modern classic. This is me sitting really close to the microphone. It's not a modern classic. It's not one at all. Uh, but it is a good time. So check it out if you want. But does it meet the criteria for modern classic? No. Since the game is so dark and the hero sounds so swarthy, I thought I'd go out sounding swarthy as shit. Guess what, punk? If you buy my book...
Godling and other paint stories. I'll be your fan forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> hey, 99 cent Kindle copies, punk. Amazon.com, punk. Amazon.com, 99 cent Kindle copies. Godling and other paint stories. Get it. Buy it. It's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah.